good morning children today i welcome all of you to this video session related to the topic circular flow of national income which is in the lesson titled national income and related aggregates the concept of the circular flow gives a clear cut picture of the economy we can know whether the economy is working efficiently or whether there is any disturbance in its smooth functioning the circular flow model in the two sector economy is a hypothetical concept which states that there are only two sectors in the economy who are they household sector and the business sector the household sector is a source of the factors of production and the business sectors who produces the goods and services and supply those goods and services to the economy so in general the circular flow of income is a way of representing the flows of money between the two main groups in society as i mentioned earlier which are the two groups producers and the consumers that is producers here it is known as firms and the consumers are known as the households that is today we are going to study about the two sector model it is related to three sector model four sector model but it is only there for you to study about the two sector model that is here circular flow of income how the income circulates from the one sector to the another sector so here in this model there are two sectors as i mentioned earlier which are the households and firms who are households we the people are households people who buy the nation's output of goods and services and the owners all the economies factors of production they supply these factors of production to the firms and in turn they receive payment for their factors also that is they render the services the households render the services and these they will produce the output also these firms also and let me define what is the circular flow model that a simple circular flow model of the macroeconomics contains two sectors which are they that is the household sector product market and the factor market that illustrates the continuous movement of the payments for the goods and services between producers and the consumers the payment flow between the two sectors and two markets is divided into four segments here which are the consumption expenditure gdp factor payments and national income so that is the circular flow that is how the income flows from the one sector to the other sectors of the economy here in this picture we can see the two sectors are there in the economy households and the firms and in between government is there that you just let it be there and you just take into account the households and the firms what the households at first they will do they will just render their that is factor services to these firms that means laborers what the laborers they used to do they supply their that is they supply their labor to these firms and they produces these firms using these laborers they will produce goods and services for our economy so the individuals they supply the labor to these firms and they produce goods and services in the economy also and in turn these firms what they will give to these business or to the individuals they give income to certain factors of services rendered by the individuals and what the individuals will do they individuals what the income they got they will expend upon the goods and services produced by the business people or produced by the firms see the circular flow how it is happening between this among these two sectors at first the individuals render their services and this business what they will do they produces goods and services for our economy and 
that is the business people for their factor services rendered they gave wages to this or they gave this money to this laborers and the laborers with using this income or money they purchases all the goods and services produced by the firms in an economy and thereby the income circulates at first from the household sector next to the business sector next after that this firms again that income it is uh, given as wages to the individuals and the individuals again they purchases goods and services from the firms so in this way in our economy the income circulates from the one hands to the other at first it starts from the individuals and it begins in the home firms again the firms giving wages to them and with using that wages they again purchases goods and services produced by this firms in the economy so this is actually the circular flow of income happened in our economy so what about this by studying this that is will be able to understand the fluctuations happen in our economy whether the economy is working efficiently or whether there is any disturbance in its smooth functioning so all these things will be able to understand by studying this so we have so far studied regarding these two sectors and now just we'll go through their markets how we can interlink them with their markets just here in this picture we can see the factor market and the product market in the factor market what is in the market that is the factor services are supplied to this market and in the product market what is supplied the goods and services produced are supplied to this market so in the factor market the consumers they will render their factor services and such factor services will be used by the firms and the firms using that services they will produce goods and services and it will be supplied to the product market as i told you earlier this is the link between the consumers and the firms so let me explain once again the consumers are producing their for example if i am telling the laborer is supplying his labor to the factor market isn't it and the firms what they are doing they are using these laborers and they are producing goods and services and it is produced to the or it is supplied to the product market and what i explained after the consumers in return what they are getting here we can see the income of the resources so for the consumers they are getting income for their factor services rendered and after what happens here that is by receiving the incomes they purchases goods and services from the product market so see how the income reach from one hands to the other and it is circulated here from the product to factor market again from the factor market to product market in a circular manner so this is what the in the circular flow of income how the income circulates from the one sector to the another sector through the consumers to the producers also so after studying this it will be very helpful for us to understand the equilibrium maintained in an economy